Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. And we saw some heavy wet snow today across parts of northeast Wisconsin, but obviously nothing like that. Let's take a look at the next seven days and see what's on tap as far as temperatures are concerned. Well, it looks cool. That's the first thing that sticks out there. 38 degrees on Friday. That's going to be our warmest day. And that's pretty close to normal for early March. Besides that, we are looking at highs in the lower to mid 30s, below normal for the middle part of March. Right now we are looking at mainly 30s across the NBC 26 viewing area. 34 degrees right now in Clintonville, 34 in Oshkosh. It's 37 in Chilton, 38 degrees in Kiwani, but you can see some colder temperatures off to the north and west, 27 degrees in Anago. That colder weather will filter in throughout the nighttime hours. Cloudy skies all day long and then a period of snow as we moved into the afternoon and now the early evening. We had some huge snowflakes coming down in Green Bay. The snow was briefly heavy at times and you can see here on NBC 26 Precision Radar that snow continues to fall mainly south and east of the Fox Valley. For the most part, it is light snow, but there are some pockets of heavier snow here, especially from Manitowoc down towards central Sheboygan County. The big story was not the snow, it was the rain. We had a soaker over the weekend. Take a look at these totals, over two inches in Darboy. We had 1.3 in the Fond du Lac area, 1.21 inches in Green Bay, and we had over an inch and a half of rain in Appleton. You can see here on NBC 26 Precision Radar, the big storm, one of two that brought us all that rain continues to work off towards the north and east, still looking at some light snow on the back side of it. All that heavy rain did produce some problems across the area. We still have a flood warning here for the Sheboygan River. It's actually expected to crest later on tonight into tomorrow about three to four feet above flood stage. In fact, it'll be the third highest crest on record if the forecast holds true. Satellite picture this evening shows that big storm pulling away from Wisconsin. We have a trough of low pressure that extends back to the west across the state. That's going to keep that chance for light snow and flurries in the forecast throughout tonight. And then we've got another system up across southern Canada that will move through tomorrow. Once again, keeping that chance for some snowflakes from time to time. High temperatures today, mainly in the mid 30s, but you can see colder conditions out across Minnesota. That colder weather will move in for tomorrow. High temperatures will be running about three to five degrees colder than what we saw today. 29 degrees in Lena, 32 in Little Shoot, right around 33 degrees in Reedsville. Precision cast shows mostly cloudy skies throughout the night. Some light snow or flurries from time to time. And then tomorrow, cloudy skies with once again a chance for a little bit of light snow or a few flurries. Overnight lows tonight will be in the mid 20s with a few flakes. Tomorrow, cloudy and breezy. Chance for some light snow or flurries. Look for a high temperature right around 31 degrees. On Wednesday, morning clouds giving way to sunshine. Windy, highs only around 30. Sun and clouds on Thursday, mid-30s. Maybe a mixed bag on Friday, mid to upper 30s. A chance for some rain and or snow or both. 32 degrees on Saturday, sun and clouds right around 30 on Sunday. And then we'll watch another system moving in for early next week. That one will be a little bit bigger with a chance for some more snow and high temperatures in the lower 30s. No signs of spring in that forecast, Casey. <laughs> no, it sure doesn't look like it. You know, this last weekend, I think it was a good nap weekend, wasn't it? Because it was it just was. so dreary. It was a good weekend for a nap. On and off rain all weekend long. And, you know, the threat was there for some heavy snow across the viewing area, but it just stayed to our north and west. Yeah, I'm all right with that. <laughs> Thank you so much.